Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 5.1, Model Factors. Our essential question is, how can you use models to find factors? Tonight, we're going to be working in our graphing handout that you received in class. So you need to write the essential question at the top of your paper. How can you use models to find factors? Go ahead and do this now. Well, first we need to understand what a factor is. So here is what a factor is. It's a number that's multiplied by another number to find a product. And remember, product just means the answer to a multiplication problem. So if I had the number 12, well, I know that 2 times 6 equals 12. So 2 and 6 would be the factors of 12. So those are the two numbers that I multiply together to find 12. Now here is some important information about factors. Every whole number that's greater than 1 has at least two factors. It's going to be that number and 1. So here's an example. If I have the number 19, I can say that the number 19 will have at least two factors. It's going to be 1 times 19, and that equals 19. So 19, even though there's no other numbers that multiply, that you can multiply together to get 19, they, it still has these two factors, 1 and 19. So every whole number that is greater than 1 is going to have at least two factors. It's going to be 1 and then that same number. Many numbers can be broken into factors in different ways. So if, if I have the number 16, I know that the multiples of 16 or the factors of 16 are going to be 1 and 16. And I can show 1 times 16 using a model, using an array. So here I have one row of 16 tiles. So that is showing me 1 times 16. And if I count all of these tiles in here, I will get 16. Another way to show 16 is using a model, as using an array, showing four rows of 16 tiles, or four tiles. And that is showing me that the factors of 16 are 4 times 4. So if I multiply 4 times 4, I will get 16. And I can prove that by going and counting all of my tiles in my array. And that shows me that there are 16. So 4 rows of 4, 4 times 4 is 16. Another way to show 16 is using the factors 2 times 8. So my array is showing two rows of 8 tiles. And that equals 16. So the factors of 16 that we have here are 1 and 16, 4, and 2 and 8. Now, boys and girls, underneath your factor of 16, I want you to choose one of these arrays to draw and model how to make 16. So you're going to write the factors that make 16. So if, for example, you can use 1 times 16, and then you would draw the array for 1 times 16. Or you can choose 4 times 4, and then draw the array, or you can choose 2 times 8 and then you can draw the array for that one. So go ahead and choose one of these factor pairs to make 16 and then draw your array for the multiplication sentence. Go ahead and do that now. You can draw or create models to show arrays to find factors of a number. Let's find the factors for 10 using the model. So I have the factors of 10, that's what I need to find. So if I look at this first array here, I have two rows 
So I know one of them is going to be 2. And I have, let me see how many I have in each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know my other factor is going to be 5. And if I count them all together, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should get 10. So I know the first two factors of 10 are 2 and 5. And I can list those here, 2 and 5. Now let me look at my next array. I have one row, so I know I'm going to have 1 as my first factor. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 in that row. So I know that my factors are going to be 1 and 10, and that equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So I'm going to come and put my factors that I have so far. So I have 1, 2, 5, and then the last one is 10. So those are my factors of 10. Here it says use the arrays to name the factors of 12. So that's going to be the number that we want to name the factors for, 12. Well, let me look at the first array and see what the factors are of 12 for this one. So I know I have one row. So I know my first factor is going to be 1. And then let me count how many are in that row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now remember that rule that tells me that one and the other in itself are always going to be factors. So that's true. 1 times 12, and that makes 12. Let me look at my next array. I have two rows. So I know my first factor is going to be 2. Now let me see how many are in each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I know that's my next factor, and that equals 12. So 2 and 6. Let's come over to another array. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 rows. So 4 will be one of our factors. And let's count how many are in each row. 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 in each row, and that equals 12. So 4 and 3 are those factors for this array. Now if I wanted to list all my factors, I'm going to make sure that I list my factors from least to greatest order. So I'm going to start with my smallest one, which was 1. So I'm going to come put a 1 here. My next one was 2, and then comes 3, then 4, then 6, and then 12. And those are the lists of my factors. Our first problem is asking us, what are the factors of 18? So. I know that 1 times 18 are factors because remember that rule 1 and that same number are the factors. So I know that 1 times 18 is going to be factors of 18. And I'm going to go to my next counting number which is 2. Is 2 a factor of 18? Can I multiply 2 by anything to get 18? Yes, I can. I can do 2 times 9. Now notice that I'm listing them from least to greatest order. So I have 1 times 18 and then 2 times 9. Could I draw a, an array for that? Yes, I could. I would come down here and I would do 2 rows. So I have 2 rows here and I would have 9 in each row. So this array is showing me two rows and nine in each row. And if I counted them all up, I would get 18. So now I'm going to go to my next counting number, which is three. Can I multiply anything by three to get 18? Yes, I can. I can multiply six. 
So 3 times 6 equals 18. Now I'm going to go to my next counting number, 4. Can I multiply anything times 4 to get 18? No, I can't. What about 5? Still no. And now I have 6 here. Remember, that's part of my list of factors. So I know we did 6 times 3. 7, no. So once I start saying no to my numbers, I know that I'm pretty much done listing all my factors. So here I have my factors of 18. 1 times 18 equals 18. 2 times 9 equals 18. And 3 times 6 equals 18. Now, boys and girls, on your graphing paper, I would like you to draw the array for the factors 3 and 6 to make 18. So if we have 3 times 6, and that equals 18, I would like you to draw me the array. So you would have three rows with six tiles in each row, or you can have six rows with three tiles in each row. So go ahead and do that on your graphing sheet. You can draw me the array for three times six. I've already drawn the array for two times nine. Now it's your turn. Three times six equals 18. Go ahead and do this now. Okay, here's my array for 3 times 6 equals 18. So yours might look just a little different from mine, but that's okay. I did 3 rows, and I placed 6 tiles in each row. And if I were to count these tiles all together, I would get 18 tiles. My next problem is asking me, what are the factors of 9? Well, I know from my rule, I know that 1 and 9 are going to be factors of 9 because 1 times 9 equals 9. And then I'm going to go to my next number. 2, 2 times anything equal 9? No. What about 3? Yes, 3 times 3 equals 9. And I don't have to list 3 twice. I can just say that 3 is a factor of 9. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Could I draw an array for that? Yes, I could. I would have three rows, so one, two, three, and I would have three in each row. So if I counted those up, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that is showing me three rows of three. Now I know, because I know my multiplication facts really well, I know that there's nothing else that I can multiply together to get 9. So I know that I'm pretty much done. These are my factors of 9. 1, 3, and 9. All right, boys and girls, here are your homework questions for tonight, and these will be done on your graphing handout that you received. Number one says, what are the factors of six? So you need to tell me what are the ways that you can make six. And then you need to draw the arrays for the factors. So you're going to have to draw a picture to show the ways to make six using the arrays. Number two says, which of the following shows a factor pair for the number 16? So which one of these shows how to make 16? 2 times 8, 2 times 32, 8 times 16, or 16 and 32? Boys and girls, don't forget to assess yourself and let me know if you are a novice, an apprentice, practitioner, or an expert. Make sure that you write your level at the bottom of your paper, and I will see you tomorrow in class for some fun activities. Bye!